up, Tube you? It is your boy Clemens here bringing gameplay commentary. On uh, today, I'm going to be talking about this crazy lady at work. Uh, I deal with her a lot. Uh, today, she just she pushed it. She pushed it. She's crazy. And when I say crazy, I don't mean as in she made me mad or anything. I mean literally, I think she is crazy. Uh, first off, this lady comes in and she always has a different color hair. And when I mean different color, I don't mean like. Oh, she has brown, she goes blonde, or, you know, she goes redhead or something. No, she comes in blue hair, green hair, uh, and it's it's not the full head either. It's it's just a little piece, like right in the front, that she dyes a different color every day, and it's a new color. It's com it's confusing. It's I don't know why she does it. Uh, I, don't, I don't ask her. <laughs> I'm not going to walk up to her and, you know, insult her about her hair and ask, you know, what the hell's going on. Uh, I'm not gonna do that, <laughs> but uh, I found that quite odd, uh, and that's that's when I thought she was a little weird. Uh, but then, you know, she always mistakes me uh, for somebody else in the store. Uh, he, uh, they always like she thinks that me and this other guy in the store are like brothers, like long lost brothers. Like she is convinced uh, that we are long lost brothers. We're not. Uh, we look nothing alike. Like <laughs> nothing alike. Uh, like there's no resemblance whatsoever. I mean, he's got short hair. He's a boy. That that might be the only thing we have in common. Uh, I don't. I don't know. I don't understand uh, why she thinks that we're brothers. Again, we do not look alike. Uh, he doesn't talk like me. He doesn't have the same voice as me. Uh, I, I don't know. She's <laughs> is that crazy? I don't. I don't get what she sees. Uh, uh, but uh, I go out and get carts, and she usually waits for a taxi out and by the carts, uh, by the cart rack. There's like a bench or whatever that people can sit at. Uh, she normally sits out there uh, with one of her friends, and well, normally I go out there uh, and I'm pushing in carts and all that. And she's talking to me about you know every all kinds of crazy things, uh, you know, and all that. And like she always tells me that we should hire uh, underage kids like 12 year olds 11 12 year olds to push in all the carts so that we don't have to i don't understand if she knows that that's actually my job is to push in the carts when we need to uh but she thinks that we should hire you know 11 12 year old kids you push in the carts uh so that us adults i guess don't have to i don't i don't understand <laughs> i don't know like i don't see why we would have to hire like 11 12 year old kids like she literally said 11 or 12 year old kids all the time she always tells me this and I don't understand why they have to be so young. I don't, <laughs> and I don't know what like 11 and 12 year old kid is gonna want a job, pushing in carts the entire day. <laughs> I don't know. I know I wouldn't, cause when I was 11 and 12, I did not want to do anything, not even go to school. Uh, I don't, I don't know why I would want to go to work. Oh, uh, but let, I totally forgot to you know mention this on her appearance. Uh, she smells like, and I don't mean smells as you smell her, you know, as she comes close to you. No, she smells when she talks. I, <laughs> her. Her breath is like she ate a squirrel that just rolled around in a whole bunch of mud and then jumped into a diarrhea filled cat litter box. Uh, like it's literally so bad. Like it's disgusting, but she always talks to me and you know, I'm not going to be mean. I'm a very nice person uh, when I'm working. Uh, in fact, I'm actually a very nice person overall, but, uh, but yeah, it's, it's literally you know, not the best smell that you could possibly smell at all. Like, I don't think she could eat a full container of breath mints and get that smell gone. I think that's like stained in her mouth because uh, it always smells the same and it's always disgusting. And I have a terrible smell. So it's like, I don't normally smell anything unless it's really bad. And let's just say this girl's breath is normally terrible. I mean, there's some days it's not bad. Uh, I don't know if it's because they, some days uh, she doesn't come up as close to me as some days, so, you know, as, like, other days and all that, so I don't know, uh, so, like, yeah, her breath, terrible, terrible, terrible breath, like, I can't even describe how bad it is anymore, uh, but, uh, and then another thing she always gets me to, okay, she goes, she does her shopping, she comes back, uh, sits down on the bench, then every day I'm out there getting cards, she will come up to me and she'll be like, can you do me a favor, and, you know, I say yeah every time. I'm like, what's up? What do you need? Uh, just because you know I'm a nice person, like I said. And she always sends me to go get her a donut. Like, I don't know why she doesn't just pick up a donut uh, for her to eat. Uh, she sends me to go get her a donut. Uh, so I have to go back into the store. She gives me money, so it's not like I pay for it. I don't, I don't pay for that crap. I'm not gonna buy somebody else a donut, especially if their breath stinks. Not happening. 
Uh, but, anyways, I go get a donut. And I always have to bring it back to her and all that stuff. I don't even get a tip. Nothing. I don't even get a tip at all. I don't get a donut. <laughs> but I always get her a donut. That's weird. I don't I don't understand why she can't just pick up her own donut. Uh, I mean, it's not like she's completely old. Uh, I mean, she is older. But, doesn't mean, you know, she can't just get off her butt and go get a donut. Because, honestly, where she sits, uh, the donuts are right in the door, basically. You walk into the door, take a left. Uh, and you will find the bakery area where the donuts are. It's honestly a couple feet, 10 feet, 20 feet maybe. Uh, and she has like a little walker, so she could push that bitch over there. <laughs> uh, that's mean, but I don't care. Uh, there was this one time, uh, I'm not even getting this woman, uh, basically called me over. Uh, I was pushing any cards, you know, minding my own business. Uh, and I walked past her, she called me over. Well, she didn't call me over, she laughed. Uh, you know, she just started laughing like really loud. It was just her, her friend wasn't there this time, but uh, she started laughing really loud. Uh, I got confused. Uh, she said something. I didn't know what she said, so I walked over by her, and I'm like, uh, what, what was that? You know, she was obviously directing it to me. She was looking at me. Uh, there was nobody else in the car room at the time, so obviously it was to me. Uh, and I'm like, what did you say? And she said, I said, excuse me. I'm like, did you need something? Like, I don't, I don't know what you're saying excuse me for. And she's like, I farted. I'm like, oh, okay. <laughs> okay, I'm like, it's all good. <laughs> you know, and then all of a sudden I heard a fart noise again. Uh, and... She had a fart machine. I don't, I don't know. Uh, she had a fart machine. Uh, she just kept farting, and she was just going crazy about it, uh, just laughing. I, I didn't find it that funny, but you know, I put on my pretend laugh, like, <laughs> oh, you got me. I don't know. She, she was crazy. I don't, I don't know why she had a little toy fart machine. I don't know where she got it, but she kept pushing a button. I mean, you could tell the baddies were gonna were dying in that fart machine uh, because the farts didn't even sound anything like a fart at all. Uh, and she just started going crazy, just kept pushing it and just laughing and laughing. Uh, uh, and then she actually offered me the fart machine, uh, asked if I wanted it. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, uh, you know, I'm working, and she asked me if I wanted the fart machine, and I'm like, no, thank you. You keep it. You're having too much fun with it. Uh, and I, and I walked away. I mean, <laughs> who brings a fart machine to a grocery store and then offers somebody to have it? Uh, and I didn't even find it that funny. I mean, I'm old school. We'll be questioned. Not no fart, fart machine. Like, the fart machine suck. <laughs> I don't know. It was, it was crazy. Uh, today she told me to tell any of my female friends, uh, any friends that I had that were girls, uh, to apply down at the nursing home or the place where she stays. I don't know if it's a nursing home or some. I think it's like a CNR or something. I don't know. Somebody that helps out the people there. Uh, she said that you know they are hiring female ones. Uh, and I'm like, okay. Uh, I'll let any of them know. I mean. Reality, I'm not letting anyone know. I don't, I don't know any friends that really would like to do that. Uh, and then she told me the head male CNR or nurse or whatever was retiring, so they're going to be hiring a male. And she told me that I should apply down there uh, instead of working at the grocery store that I work at uh, so I can give people baths and stuff. She told me she wanted me to apply down there so I could give people baths yeah I don't want to give people baths I don't like, I don't even take baths I take showers and that's all I don't shower anyone else I don't bathe anyone else there is no way I am gonna give this lady a bath anytime soon and there's no way I would ever apply down there and she told me personally to apply to that. I don't, like, she didn't tell me, go, any of your guy friends, no, she told me, you should apply. It's like, no. No, I'm not. I told her I was happy with my job here, you know, at the grocery store, and I was not gonna apply down there. Uh, she always gets me and this other guy mixed up. Uh, and today, she came up to me, well, not came up to me, I was, you know, pushing a cart, she called me over to her, and she's like, you know, I had a jacket on, it was pretty cold out, so she couldn't see my name tag or anything. Uh, she's like, I know your name, I want to say it starts with a R or an N. For those of you who don't know, my name is David, uh, starts with a D. Not even close to R or an N. <laughs> uh, I said no, it starts with a D. And she's like, I don't know anyone, you know, that has the letter D. So I open up my shirt, like my sweatshirt, uh, and she sees David, she's like, oh, David. I knew that, I knew that. I'm like, yeah, of course you knew that. Uh, obviously you knew that because you thought my name started with, you know, an R or an N. I don't, <laughs> I don't understand. Uh, she said she thought it was Rob. Uh, 
I, I don't think it was Rob at all. I don't think my name is even close to Rob. I don't know how you get Rob mixed up because I don't think there was a beggar or there's only one person in the store named Rob uh, and he owns the place. So <laughs> I know she's not getting anyone else mixed up because he's never, well, he's there, but he's never like down talking to the customers. So I don't think, you know, that he got me and Rob, the owner of the place, you know, confused together or anything like that. Uh, but then this is where it gets crazy. Uh, I, I, you know, go inside, you know, and I tell people about her uh, and all that, you know. She made me go get her a donut today again. Uh, so I went to go get her a donut. Uh, and then one of uh, the other baggers there, I'm not going to say his name, but he came up to me and he's like, that crazy lady? And I'm like, yeah, the one that's sitting out there. She's. <laughs> he told me that she told him to look out for the vultures outside because they're going to get him. <laughs> and she, I guess, was pointing out all the vultures and... There's no vultures outside. I mean, I live in Wisconsin. It was like raining and snowing today. There's no vultures outside whatsoever. I don't I don't know what vultures see, uh, she's seen. I don't know if she was seeing like blue jays or something like that, but I don't think there's vultures in Wisconsin. Uh, I could be wrong. I don't really know. But there was no birds flying around. Not when it was raining and snowing. I mean, there might have been ducks. I don't know if they were flying, but... <laughs> Vultures, really? I mean, she, I guess, was pointing out the vultures, and uh, the bag always like, look, she's like, yeah, yeah, I see them. I see the vultures. I mean, this girl is absolutely crazy. She comes in all the time. Like I said, I deal with her probably every other day at least. Uh, well, at least every other day that I work. I don't work every day. But, you know, she is a crazy customer. Uh, we get a lot of crazy customers, to be honest. But, this one has made me laugh today uh, about the vultures mainly, so I, I thought I'd share share her with you guys, uh, explain what I deal with on a daily basis most of the time. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think of this commentary. Rate, comment, subscribe. Deuces!